Alright, this is Sakai, and I'm Paul, and we're working on our lawn boy. It's got a Kohler engine, 6.5 uh, feet levers gross torque, or 149cc, and it won't start. Our neighbor had it for about two years. He never cleaned the carburetor, always left the gas in the tank. As a matter of fact, when we got the gas, it was kind of yellow. So we're going to put, we got a carb kit uh, from Amazon. We got it to start with the, um, we got to start with starting fluid. But as you can see here, let's see if we can get this focused. Uh, you can see this is all broken up and waxy. And we also want to replace the, um, the other uh had back here so it looks like we got both of those in our kit we just got it off of Amazon we googled the uh, engine number and got the carp kit it looks like we got a few extra pieces we're not gonna replace everything but we're gonna replace as much as we see that fits so to get to the carb you have to uh, take off your air filter and there's two bolts uh, here about a quarter inch that you have to take off and then you have to release this bolt up here and be careful when you take that bolt off because there's a spacer behind it. So when you pull this, the air filter uh, off, the spacer will probably fall down. And that spacer just goes in the back of this, uh, this bolt right back here. Alright, so we're going to set those aside. And we're going to get started on taking the carb apart. Okay, now that we're into the carb, in order to pull the carb off, to get back here and replace this, uh, this this paper pad, what you have to do is you have to remove these two screws. Uh, they're both star screws. I already have them removed. Uh, but there's two screws on the left-hand side there, so you take those out. And then you have to get disconnect this, uh, uh, this piece of metal here. So in order to do that, you have to kind of pull the carb out a little bit get it going at the right angle so you can get the uh, get that metal feed out hold on let me get the guy to hold the camera all right so these are off and if you pull the carb out some you can see that you can change the angle of that metal little bar there and it slips out okay so now I'm gonna set this aside leave this one in and now I can should be able to pull the whole carb off Probably should have disconnected the gas line, but we did it. Pause. We're going to replace this uh, part of the carb kit. Slide it in there. I don't think that's the right way. I think it's yeah, upside down there. Look at, do you know which way it goes? No idea. That looks pretty good. All right, it's done. All right, so we're not going to take the whole car apart because it's in pretty good shape and it'll start and run with starting fluid. And it actually, besides that right here, it looks pretty clean. But I've got a little starting spray here, so I'm just going to clean it off wherever we can. Go back and front and get, get it cleaned up. We grab the rag. Don't wait. Go. All right, so I'm just spraying this off, and I'm gonna I'm gonna wipe off this outside where the old carb filter was, and just get it cleaned up a bit. Looks pretty good on the inside. No dirt or anything because the air filter's been on. It's just kind of worn out. All right, so now I'm gonna put the carb back on. So we just gotta slide it back over the bolts. up that should go straight back through all right and then we'll put our other filter here Let's see make sure what it the way you put it on it leaves all the holes uncovered like that so now we've got a clean car with the new kit on it so the kit also comes with a uh, it comes with different size, you know, rubber gaskets and things like that. That would be if your carp was dirty and you were going to take it apart and replace the gaskets. 
I think, and I think that uh, we should be. It should be able to start just like this, just because it's only been a couple years and it's not like the carbs like worn out or anything. So we're going to put it back back together. We put the star screws in back in and reconnect uh, this little latch here. Uh, let's see if we can do that first, and then we'll screw it back together. So once again, this is kind of got to pull the carb. Well, let's set this aside. Pull the carb out a little and stick the stick this. Uh, uh oh. No. It just came out of both sides. This probably happened. Probably happened to you too. So put this back in, and then just spin it around. And stick this one. Oh no! All right, hit pause. All right, that was a little tricky. So what I did was I put uh, this end in first, and then yeah. dropped the wire in on top there, so it's connected. So now I'm gonna put the screws back in. So you need a star bit uh, to get this screw connected back on. So there's two screws, one on, one on each side. So we'll put those screws all the way back in. And then put the uh, then we'll put the uh, the carb filter back on again because it uh, fell off when it was reconnected. So get those in pretty snug there. And then in our kit, we got uh, two different ones. This one covers the holes, so you need to use this one. And once again, align it so it doesn't cover the holes. See, that's wrong. So flip it over that way, it leaves all the holes open. And then, yeah. yep. And then the uh, carb's still loose here. Uh, you put your air filter holder on top and what you have to do down here is find the oh sorry I forgot you gotta put your spacer back on here the all important spacer and that should line up with the first hole here and then you gotta find your two holes down here to put the air filter back on there we go oh and this has spacers too that's really just to protect the plastic so pushed it out. I'm just going to push it back in. Uh, on the other side. Okay. Uh, no. Nope. Goes in on this side. There we go. So you see those spacers can... Obviously they've given me problems. This is the second time I've taken it apart. They kind of yeah, kind of got to stick with them. Put your finger on them when you put it back in. So once everything is lined up, then we can tighten it up. So this one appears probably the easiest one to get on first, especially if your help is using a camera to record you. It can't help you out. So. I'm using a 11 millimeter, which I think is right around uh, right around a quarter inch driver here. Put the two nuts back on. The other thing you got to watch out for is while you're doing all this, lots of times this part will pop out, and it's what uh, I guess regulates the amount of air that goes in. So uh, make sure you don't uh, you don't. Uh, lose that all right so we're gonna pause get the air filter and get that in so you just put your air filter ours, ours isn't, isn't that bad yeah the neighbor hardly ever uses mower it's clean and uh, just snap these two latches in here on this side and uh, you should be able to line up the, the screw hole over here it has a built-in Butterfly nut there. Yeah, once you get it lined up, it should just screw right on. Alright, so we're going to pause. I'm going to show you how easy it is to screw. Alright, so now we got the carb kit in there. 
and uh, even even Zakai can start it. One pull. It cleaned up the smoke too. So that was a uh, a Kohler. Um, 144cc carp kit change out. Mm. It's 149cc. Yeah, 149cc. We're out, YouTube. See ya.